What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, we finish up an absolutely gorgeous drive up the Dempster Highway. That is to the end of the road. That is Tuk Tuk Tuk, and this is the Motorhome Experiment. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, we're heading up to Tuck, and Lorena here, being the voice of reason, has convinced me to leave the car here and continue the last 80 to 90 miles without the car. It's just basically a day trip, so we just need our house with us so we can sleep in it if we decide to stay overnight, but that's about it. And supposedly this 90 miles of road makes this last 460 miles of dirt road look like, like a, a paved freeway. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Are you killing a mosquito? <clears throat> the car has been dropped and we are on our way to Tuck and the Arctic Ocean. If you see us like SWAT and stuff, it's not the imaginary voices in my head, although it could be. It's every time you open the doors, like just dozens of mosquitoes come flying in. There's mosquitoes everywhere. And then it's a battle to get them back out, so crazy. Wow, we haven't traveled without the car on the back of this thing in a long time. Long it feels time. really light. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it actually does. And usually we like to stay like with a lot of lush trees next to our campsite. Right now here, no. That means mosquitoes. So the more open, the better. So this is the Happy Trails Territorial Park or Happy Day. I don't know. It's right in downtown Inuvik right off of the downtown and right along the water so very very handy to Inuvik and we are going to come back we're leaving the car here for two nights we're going to go up to Tuck stay overnight and we'll come back the following day come back here I guess that would be Tuesday no Monday we'll come back here on Monday and say Monday Tuesday do we want to just dump quick yeah just less weight I guess. less weight it was a thing you think we're kidding about the mosquitoes? Most people are wearing those headgear net things. And uh, I thought they looked ridiculous at first because they look like beekeepers, but now they're the smart ones. We are officially back on the Dempster Highway. This is the part that was just completed in November of 2017. Prior to that, you could not get to Tuk 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 during the summer you, it was only accessible by ice road in the winter or in the summer by boat or plane. But the Canadian government spent $300 million putting this road in all the way to the end of the road. That didn't really make sense, but they put the road into the end of the road, but you guys know what I'm saying. They really meant the end of the road. Like they really took this to the most northerly spot that you can drive in Canada. And that is Tuk Tuk Tuk. We are heading there and we are gonna see the Arctic Ocean today, which is absolutely insane. Like, we're literally driving with prey into the Arctic Ocean. I mean, that's just mind blowing. I never thought when we not start full timing that we'll be driving to the Arctic Ocean to come on this video. Yeah, it's not something that was on our radar really. Yeah. But what's still in the bucket list? Like Arctic Ocean, the Arctic Circle, one more thing, we did just see a sign because people were concerned about weight coming out here. And we just saw a sign that said road open 12,500 kilograms maximum, which is about 27,000, 27 to 28,000 pounds. We're at around 25, 25.5, so we're good. The road has had some absolutely brutal spots in it. It's kind of eased up now on us. 
but the area around here is absolutely gorgeous. There are lakes and rivers all around us, but I can tell you that until my face turns blue, but let me show you. We are closing in on Tuktoyuktuk, but the road has taken a turn for the worse. If this was mucky, it would be really slippery and weird. It's dry, so it's just hard and rocky. We're down to 10 miles an hour. The rest of the road has been just perfect. I would say it's uh, like a 80, 20, 70, 30. Like being 80, 70, 80% 80 good, the other 20, 30%, not so good. So, but it's doable, but like he says, because it's not raining. If it would have been raining, yeah, this would have been bad. I'm more of an optimist. I say 90-10. Yeah, I'd say the best scenario, 80-20. I'm going to step on that one. I don't know why, as a kid, I was so excited about Tuk Tuk Tuk. I think it was just because it was a fun name to say, but here we are. Welcome to Tuk Tuk Tuk. Welcome to Tuk. We're gonna head into town in just a second. This it's is that, kind of the welcome sign. Yeah, it's just a small community. It's just not that exciting about it, but it's just the fact that we're as far north as we can travel. And in Canada. In Canada, and then we're gonna be in the Arctic Ocean, I and mean, that's the draw to this. And over there, those are pingos. These hills are pingos, and this is the pingo capital of the North America. Those are ice that uh, water underneath it froze, and, and the ice heaved, causing those. So, pretty cool stuff. It's chiller here too. It was nice in Inovic. Right now here is pretty cold. Yeah. Now we're gonna head into town and see what we can see in there. But the steps won't even come out all the way. They're so muddy. The whole coach is <laughs> just trash. That. Oh, that's awesome. Is that actually closed? No, that's not closed. We have arrived in the town of Taktayuktuk, the village, if you will. There was no welcome committee. Oh, look at that, the end of the road, restaurant, right restaurant there. And convenience store. So we'll probably be heading over there and check that out. See if we can't support them a little bit. There's gonna be very little for us to eat in there, I'm expecting, but we'll check it out. Bob's Welding and Gas Station. We probably should get fuel. No. Yeah? Until Inuvik, you know? No, or we should get fuel now. Oh. Let's get to the remote place to put fuel in. Well, it's everything's remote up here. All the buildings on stilts. Colorful too. Pretty cool. We just stopped and did our thing for the local economy with fuel. Uh, fuel brutal. is not too bad, really, at a buck sixty-one a liter. It is brutal. It's six bucks a gallon, and we spent three hundred and forty-five Canadian. So 
not too bad. We're here too bad. at this, <laughs> we're at these little uh, places right across from where the gas station was. These are mud huts. And so these are kind of like what original housing would have been like back in the 20s and 30s. So we're gonna go inside and check them out. 20s and 30s? That's what uh, Bruce told me. Probably not gonna be able to see in here. Very dark. Wow. All right, Lorena, we have made it all the way here. We have come oh to the God. end of the road. Like literally the end. And Freya has brought us all the way to the Arctic Ocean. That is freaking <laughs> crazy. Who knew? When we started in Vegas, right? And when East Coast and all that stuff, it's like that we'll come on this side all the way to the Arctic Ocean. I mean, it's just so... Mind blowing, it's just crazy. We're one of the very few crazy ones that brought an RV here. <laughs> and by the way, this is not technically a camping area, but everybody coming to visit, everybody camps here. Like if you look around, there's tents and people just camping. Okay, there is basically one restaurant. I guess there's another place that serves like chicken fingers and wings and stuff like that. Obviously it doesn't work for us, but there is a, a restaurant here at the end of the road called? End of the Road. End of the Road, yes. So we're gonna head over to that restaurant there and, uh, or here actually, and check it out. We're assuming it'll probably be salad and french fries for us, but you never know. They might surprise us. Might surprise us. And then put in a happy cow. Yeah, that's just not likely <laughs> going to happen. But it will be an experience one way or the other. All right, the guy at the restaurant said they weren't open for another hour, so we need to go kill time. And he suggested that, <laughs> Jesus, that we come out to this place. And I don't know what we're doing out here, but it doesn't look like we're supposed to come out here. He says, oh yeah, drive that road. And there's like a little house and a nice view. Yeah, so like, we're, we're driving out here. We're gonna get booted out here. But yeah, there's a thing back there that's talked about Canada Marine security and all that. So there's nothing to stop you from coming out here, but it definitely just doesn't look like they want the general public to come out. So we're gonna check it out. I think that kind of looks like the end of the road for us, Lorena. What do you think? I knew it, but my husband always wants to go like where nobody goes. Let's go and check that out. There's a reason why. <laughs> We are still here out at the Arctic Ocean, out here at the little town of Tuk Tuk Tuk. <laughs> Sitting around a fire, making some new friends. We've got Mark and Jen here with their boys. What are the boys' names? Wade and Palmer. Wade and Palmer. And we also have the boogeyman here. And the <laughs> boogeyman is a local resident here in Tuk, and he is a, a tour guide, not a tour guide. What would, what would you say what you do? Interpretive tour for cultural immersion. There you go what he said. So cultural immersion. So if you guys come out to Tuck and you want some information and uh, just check with the town elder, uh, the town council, would they be able to get a hold of you? They know me, yeah. All right, so if you come out here, you can just ask around for the boogeyman and he'll be able to uh, take you out, give you a tour, tell you some of the, the local lore, tell you about a little bit of the wildlife and what's going on out here in Tuck and uh, give you some great information. We've been sitting around the campfire picking his brain for a little while. I'm shaking like a leaf, I'm cold. 
<laughs> so if the camera's shaking, it's because uh, I'm cold. But uh, check with Boogie, he's a, a good guy and knows a lot about the area. By the way, no makeup or hair stylist today, so. Hello, good morning everybody. This is uh, gonna be something that uh, we needed to do when we come up here. No, we don't need it but, to do. Well, we didn't need to do it, but we're gonna do it, so this is gonna suck. Okay, we are here at the Arctic Ocean with our new friends. We've got Mark and Jen, and we've got Heidi and Pear, and Wade and... Palmer. Palmer. <laughs> and you can't come up to the Arctic Circle, to the end of the road, to the Arctic Ocean, that is, without taking a plunge. So, yeah, this is happening. <laughs> are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, we are about to do this polar plunge. This is ridiculous. Yeah. We're gonna jump into the Arctic Ocean right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ridiculously cold. I might have a heart attack. <laughs> that is craziness. I would just Woo! put my I would just put my feet in. That was it. Oh come on now. I felt great. If you come here, you gotta do it. it you have nice, to. Doesn't it? it was uh who knows it wasn't salty. It was really pretty bad. It, yeah. It wasn't salty. It wasn't salty. It wasn't salty. It wasn't? No, I didn't think so. I didn't put my face under. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It's not okay. It's a, it's a little not salty, so that's cr that's kind of crazy. Uh, come on over here, buddy. Talk to the camera. Tell them what you, tell them what you think. It's cold. Just look right in here and tell them. So how was it? It was freezing. It was freezing cold, right? Yeah. You want to do it again? Um, no. <laughs> All right, Pear, Heidi, how was it? Oh, it was fantastic. It was great. Cool. Fantastic. All right. Jen, how you doing over there? Oh, good. Yeah. I forgot my sandals. Uh oh. So it was a little bit slipping around. Okay. All right. And Mark? It was good. All right. Cool. Laurie, how you doing? You were gonna dip your toe uh, in. What happened? When everybody was doing oh, it, they kind of like make me do it. <laughs> Peer pressure got to you. So that's it, folks. That is the end of the road, the Arctic Circle, Tuk Tuk Tuk. And this is where we're gonna end this video. So this is your first time here. It'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, get to know us a little bit. Hang out, check out our travels. We've still got a lot more coming to you from the Alaska area. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, all right, time to go get warmed up. It really isn't that bad.